Good morning, welcome to the channel. Hope you're enjoying what we're doing. If you are enjoying it, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up. You remembered that then, I ring the bell. <laughs> so Henry's behind the camera today for a change and it's me uh, in, the in the starlight, if you like. In the limelight. In the limelight. So the motorhome at the moment probably looks the scruffiest you'll ever see it because today I've decided that it's time to do the winter sort out. Henry, you do the draining down. Yeah, I, I sort out all the draining off and all the mechanical things that need doing. But Diane concentrates on the inside of the van. Yeah, so I'm not doing how to drain your motorhome off for the winter. In, I'm just doing it from my point of view. Yeah, inside. in preparation for the uh, winter as winter regards, stay, standing out in the weather yeah. on its own for considerable... We, we will we go are, out in the yeah, winter we as well. we're still planning to go out. And when we do that, we're just going to take the clothes that we need for the time we're away because yeah. it's probably just going to be a few nights just, away. Just a bag full of clothes and, and your dilly bag, what we call the dilly, dilly bag, bag or your toiletries. toiletries. Pop them in a bag and come into what is basically quite an empty van, isn't it, really, yeah. Di? So what I've found, <laughs> it really, over the summer, I've put more and more things in the van so that the cupboards have become full, more full than the ones in the house and it's time really to have a sort out. So I'm taking everything out because in the past we've had problems with rodents getting into the motor. Yeah, a lot of people, are, a of I'm not saying a lot of people get that problem, but a lot of people put the vans in open, you know, in farmyards and that yeah. sort of thing. And you could get that problem. We live in the countryside, so yeah, we've got to rodents be can be a problem. So to start with, it's all the cupboards that I'm emptying, like the the towels, the clothes. I've just made. I've got to take all these out here that you can see. Some clothes here already done. This one's almost empty. Just a few yeah. more towels to get out of there. We don't think it's proper that, that you know clothes and towels and things should stay in a van over winter when it's cold. And they get damp, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. Really, they're, they're better off in the house, aren't they? They're better off stored away properly uh, obviously things that can stay in will do these plastic things cups yeah. i'm not too bothered about i'll probably take these packets out all your food stuffs have got to come all out because that stuffs, yeah yeah and, uh, tins tins can stay yeah uh, in here all my pots i should take out and put through the dishwasher but i will then stack them back in again yeah so, because they'll be fine so they'll just be clean and ready for us when we do it's preparation for the spring the spring season but also protecting yourself against uh, things getting spoiled, isn't yeah. it, really? That's what you want to be yeah. thinking about. And obviously that we can still use in the winter time with just the minimum amount of Yeah, we remove all the seat covers there. that we've got on, don't we, Di? Yeah, That's... all the seat covers. They Cushions can go in the house. Yeah, the bed, if I go this way. Obviously, the we've just been away and the, I haven't cleaned the fridge yet. So I will be doing that and making sure that there's absolutely no trace of any food. You can yeah. see... In the bottom of there, there's some crumbs and things. That'll be a really good feast for a yeah. mouse. So, uh, a little mouse can smell a bit of food a mile away. And can live for a month on that. So yeah. that'll have to be really cleaned out well. Uh, I will hoover out the cupboards as well to make sure there's nothing food-wise left in there. Uh, the wardrobe I've started to empty here. This has, again, gotten ridiculously full over the, over the summer season. We've, we've hardly used m most of these clothes, to be fair. So these will be just going back in the house and hung up um, in yeah. the wardrobes. Can be bought again, out again next spring, can't they, yeah. really? I strip the bed, take everything off there, apart from when we're travelling, obviously. These I've already emptied, so they're all already done. Uh, bathroom, I will take towels. In fact, I've already taken most of the towels out. The bath mats will go for washing again, although I do tend to do that after every trip anyway. Uh, it's just a general make sure everything's ready for the winter season hoovered out really well everything yeah. that can be stored properly i'll leave in everything that i've got a slight concern about i'll take in the house you said about checking uh, in the oven that there's no we, oh, we don't have any right. greasy pans or anything or the yeah. oven needs yeah, that will in the smell of that can uh can attract uh, can attract attract rodents yeah. can't it yeah. really so just good housekeeping, isn't it, really? It it's, just isn't, a... it's a bit sad, really, looking at the cupboards when they're empty, because, you know, you know I like being away. We both like being away. So to me, it's like, oh, we're not going to go away yeah. so much. We're all going to go away, and we're, all we we're, going, we're going to have, basically, a weekend bag when we come. I think so, yeah, so that we can just have the towels we need, the bedding on, and the clothes that we're going to be using whilst we're away, and, you know, go in the house with the stuff when we get back, and, 
you know, keep it empty during the, the winter season when we're not using it. Yeah. So, I mean, most of what I'm doing, I do at the end of a trip anyway, the, the really deep clean. It's just that I don't empty the cupboards. So yeah, this is more of an intense uh, operation, isn't yeah. it, really? Yes, to clear it all out again. You know, and uh, getting everything prepared. Then in the spring, we can we can reverse the operation and bring everything <laughs> back, bring all my shorts back and yeah. plan for a new season, yeah, really, can't we? Using you as a conveyor belt to bring yeah. us in, take that out. We've got a lot of sites booked for next year, haven't we, Di? Yeah, we've got... Um, We're going to five, tell you about that on another vlog. Five, five sites already we've booked. We've got ten weeks already booked. Yeah. Camping so, already on, already sorted, but we'll let you know about that we on another vlog. We do that whilst the prices are reasonable. Yeah. So that we, uh, we feel as if prices... Are, and B, it's a good price. Yeah. <laughs> we think somebody's going to ch put the prices up next year. Yeah. As a thing. And it gives you something to look forward to, doesn't it? You know, if you, you know you're going away. Yeah. So, uh, yeah.